I'm Dan from ISH 24, Confined Space Management and Rescue. I'm here today to talk about the MSA, Self Rescues and their safe use. Whenever you collect your self rescuer before you go underground or before you use it, you always want to check it and inspect it and make sure there's no damage, especially around the seals or no major dents. The other thing you want to check for is to make sure that it's always in date within its 12 months. There's also training units out there. So if you ever pick up one with a blue band, that's a training unit. So you never ever want to be able to use that underground or in service. Uh, these are purely for training purposes only, so make sure they don't have a blue band. So I'm going to use the uh, training one for this exercise. So in an emergency, if you had to get onto your self-rescuer, it's located on your hip. You also, you want to pull the clip in the direction of the arrow at the top. So when you push that clip, it'll actually open the self-rescuer. When the self-rescuer opens, it'll be held in by the mouth clip. To activate the self-rescuer, we need to remove the mouth clip, place the white strap over your head, pull on the black mouth tube firmly, and place the mouthpiece in between your lips and your teeth, making sure you clamp your teeth onto the two lugs. If you do that as you're filling the airbag, the, the mouthpiece won't fall out. Then you give it three to four big breaths. Your breaths want to go until the relief valve releases a little bit of air. Once your relief valve releases some air, that's enough. Your self-rescue is now producing oxygen. Keeping the mouthpiece in your mouth, you want to grab the nose clip by grabbing the two ends, separate and place on your nose. This is to ensure that you don't breathe in any contaminated air or toxic air. You're just breathing through the mouthpiece. Once the mouthpiece is in place and your neck strap on and it's producing air, you then adjust the neck strap so as that the mouthpiece is not pulling tight on your neck or your head and you can move your head to the left and the right freely. Once that's done, then apply the waist strap, tie it around your waist and just tie one knot to keep it in place. So once your waist strap's on and you're breathing freely, remain calm. The calmer you are, the less oxygen that you'll use. As per your site policies, then find your way to a muster point or to a refuse chamber and wait for further instructions. So this is how they work. When you breathe in air from the atmosphere, you're breathing 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.04% carbon dioxide, and 0.9% of other gases. So when you breathe out normally, you breathe out 78% nitrogen, 17% oxygen, 4% carbon dioxide, and 0.9% of other gases. So when we first started and put our first three breaths into this machine, those first three breaths of carbon dioxide and the moisture in the air had kicked off a product called KO2. So when KO2 starts, it produces oxygen. So every time you push a breath back into the self-rescuer, it's got 17% oxygen. The KO2 takes out the carbon dioxide, puts 4% oxygen back in, so when you breathe back through the unit, you've got 21% oxygen again. So you've just got to remember to stay calm and, and take your time, otherwise you use all your oxygen quickly. So this is the unit. This is the mouthpiece that'll be in your mouth. This is the airbag that takes your breath. This is the canister that has the KO2 in it. So the KO2, uh, once activated, start putting oxygen back into the airbag, so as you breathe, every breath you come back is 21%. Because they have a limited time, make sure that once you're breathing and it's working well, don't put pressure on the airbag, because all the oxygen that's been created by the KO2, you could actually push it back out the relief valve. So you just want to leave that inflated and escape. It's really important that you do your daily inspections on these, making sure that they're in date, that there's no dents or cracks around the ceiling portion of these, so there's no water or air getting into them and they're in good condition. If you need these things serviced, call ISH 24. We can send you some replacement units while we service yours. Yearly inspection and five yearly open inspect. Thanks for listening.